Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your October 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon and the lovely Sagittarius. And um, I am back using my regular Shadowscapes deck by Stephanie Pui Moon Law. And um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I um, put out videos twice a month, uh, the beginning of the month and then mid-month. Um, and then um, it is $75. I charge $75 per hour. And I usually book the one hour session. Um, and all my re readings are done live and I don't allow recording at all. Um, and for more information about payment and my schedule, you're more than welcome to check out the about section on my YouTube channel. Most of the time people just email me and I let them know, you know, what times I'm available and kind of go from there. Um, if you'd like to set up a private reading, feel free to email me elizabetholson31 at gmail.com and that's O-L-S-O-N. Um, and yeah, so I had actually laid out a spread, but I had to pause my video for a second, my camera for a second. Um, so, um, I had mentioned that this is a very magical spread. It's very special. And, um, I'm not sure if that's because, you know, there's some very special people watching. I feel like everyone's special, but maybe there's some extra special people watching. Um, I feel like there's some people that have um, some psychic ability and they have some, uh, they have a lot of spirit, deceased loved ones and um, angels around them. And I can, you know, definitely feel that. Um, and... Um, there's just a lot of energy around this spread for some reason, okay? And I haven't felt this way during my other readings um, this time around. Sometimes I do. I do feel, you know, I get what I call a tingle. Um, but, like, I'm, you know, when I first let out the spread, I got, like, every hair on my body went up. It was like, whoa, whoa, something's going on. So, um, so something special is kind of going on with you for the month of October, and you may just be a very special individual. Um, but I'm going to start off with um, the card in the position of the foundation. And again, this reading is for everyone with their ascendance on our moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Um, so the foundation uh, card is the uh, moving card. Or the travel card. I see it a lot of times as somebody taking a trip. This is the Seven of Cups. Um, this is planning a vacation, planning a trip, going away. Um, some of you may have taken like you know a, a vacation late in the year. Um, you know maybe last couple weeks in September. Sometimes people instead of taking it during the summer, they take it in the fall. Um, you know. This may be travel for work, doing something, you know, going away because you had to go away um, also. Um, but for whatever reason, the cups are really drawing my attention. And so I want to say that this was a very emotionally fulfilling trip that you went on. Um, if you are moving, this will be a move that will be very satisfactory to you. You will feel it's an emotional decision, but it's actually a really good one. Um... So, okay, so, so you have that. So she's pointing, this girl, she could see, she's pointing to her castle in the sky. And, um, you know, there's a quote from Anne, Anne of Green Gables, which, you know, as some of you know, I, I quote from quite often. And she says, she says to Gilbert, I don't want diamond sunbursts or marble halls. I just want you. You know, uh, and so I think the dream is that much better when you have someone to share it with. Um, so obviously, you know, you may be looking for both things. You may be, you may have been with someone that you were able to share your dreams with and it was, um, really beautiful, um, a beautiful thing. So, so you have that uh, as a foundation, which is a great foundation. Um, some of you may have just gone on your honeymoon, okay, in the, in the distant past. Now, 
Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles in the position of the recent recent past, okay? Ten of Pentacles is a big money card, the wealth card, the abundance card. Um, this could also indicate someone, usually this is a younger female, okay? Mm, could be third, late 20s, early 30s to, to maybe early 40s at the latest, okay? And this is a female who um, is a career woman. And she's very good with money and she has money and she's, this is just a wealthy, someone who may have come from money or um, has been around money a lot. Um, but a lot of times this is also inherent. It's the card of inheritance or the card of um, just um, have, getting a big increase in money some way, somehow. It's usually, uh, it could be a settlement, but it's usually the kind of thing where, um, I want to say it's someone who has more money than they could have ever dreamed of. And they almost don't even know really how to spend it. This is the charity person. This is someone who has enough money to give to charity. Okay. So this is wealth. So this is not just the, you know, it's one of the money cards, um, but it's abundance too. It's wealth and abundance because she's holding the peach and the peach um, and, you know, in my mind, it's fertility. And so she, uh, you know, she has, there's abundance in, in family. There's abundance in friendship. There's abundance in love. There's abundance in money. There's just, she's like the whole package. So we have her, okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. But a lot of times I see it being a very good financially, you know, good card you know, overall for a general. Okay. Um, now what's crowning you is you have the Knight of Cups. Um, you have the Knight of Cups and then you have the Nine of Cups, which is, to me, this is like the same person. It could be two different guys. Um, for those of you Sagittarius ladies who are dating, um, and single, this could be two different guys. Um, but a lot of times if they show up in the same spread, a lot of times I, I think that they're the same person. Okay, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male. Now, you may be a Sagittarius with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio somewhere in your chart. You know, maybe a Pisces sun, and you may be, uh, you know, uh, a Sagittarius moon or a Sagittarius ascendant. Um, but, uh, but there's some strong Pisces in your chart because there's two Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer cards. Um, and because this is the card of the Pisces guy, a lot of times it says the Pisces guy. You may be a Pisces guy with like a Sagittarius moon or ascendant, something like that. Um, so the Nine of Cups is about going with the flow, okay? And the Nine of Cups is about, um, okay, so it is about financial wealth and happiness and bliss, financial abundance. These are the cards, if they're not representative of a person, um, of the number one and the two, number two player in the deck. So single ladies, you got to watch out because these guys are not in it for commitment. Um, you may see the potential in the relationship to go somewhere, but chances are it won't. Those of you who have been in a very, in a, in a marriage situation or in a, um, committed partnership of some kind, um, you have two of swords crossing you. And this is the only, this is like one of the only, there's two negative cards in this whole spread. Um, this is one of them, okay? And this is crossing you. So this is something that's happening like today, tomorrow, the next day, very soon, okay? If it hasn't happened already. Um, and this is a card about a disagreement. Um, this is also seeing the potential in someone to have a, it's seeing the potential in a relationship with someone who is emotionally unavailable. Okay, so this may be someone who, you may be emotionally unavailable, say you're like the Pisces guy with a Sagittarius moon or a Senate or something. Uh, you may be in a relationship currently and there may be someone who uh, sees the potential in you. Or you may be Sagittarius girl and be really into a Scorpio Pisces Cancer guy and see the potential in him, but for whatever reason he doesn't, he just wants his freedom. He just wants freedom at all costs and um, likes his single life. 
okay? And the Nine of Cups person really likes to be single, really likes to, or just wants to be single. You may be in a relationship and want to be single. Because maybe, to me, this is the two, the two of swords, if you're in a relationship, this is where you don't see eye to eye. You know, this is where some there's some disconnect. You're not communicating. It's not going through. Someone's talking. The other person's talking over you. They're not listening. When you're talking, it, it's just, it doesn't really go anywhere. And it's, I used to call it, and I still do sometimes, the OK Corral card. You know, two people about to go at it, you know, and, uh, and kill each other. So you got to watch out for that. <laughs> I'm not legally responsible for anything that I say, by the way, in this reading. Okay, Sagittarius, just so you know, um, I'm not. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, so I feel like this disagreement with this Knight of Cups person or this Knight of Cups is, is going to lead to some kind of heart, heartbreak, heartache, um, especially for Sagittarius ladies. Um, could also be the, the five of pentacles though is just like like the aftermath of a breakup and um, you know she's she's sitting there and she's crying her eyeballs out going you know when am I gonna find someone who really loves me when am I gonna find love when am I gonna have commitment when is it gonna happen I want it to happen sooner than later you know, and she's got her pets around her, and her pets love her or him, and, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, but we're here for you, and she feels like she doesn't really have that many friends. You know, for some reason, I feel like Sagittarius women, um, well, I should say women in general can, can feel very lonely if they're single, and they're not married, and they're just... They're looking, they're dating and they're looking for love and, and they're not finding it, you know. Um, but Sagittarius women are very sexy and they have a lot to offer. And so for you to feel alone, Sagittarius, it means you're not really going out enough and you're not really loving yourself enough um, and you need to, to love yourself more and to take more action um, and really go for what it is that you want. Um, those of you who have been in a marriage or there's kids, there, there is some separation going on, I feel, with some of you, um, because you have the page of swords in the position of your attitude, okay, which is where the mom takes the baby or the kids and she moves out, okay, um, So this is where, you know, this is where there's some kind of transition going on. This is also being lifted out of hardship, you know. Sagittarius ladies, this could be you just being lifted up out of a hardship. There's been some kind of divine intervention where you're no longer in a place of hardship. Rom romantically, things are not going the way you want. There may be some guys that really are not good for you, okay. And therefore, you know, you really need to move on from this. Okay, um, and I feel like you, the universe is saying you need to focus on career. You need to leave the situation. You need to find, figure out who you really are and make your mark in the world. And you have these two cards. The universe is sending you the two of wands, which is sitting on top of a mountain, on top of the world. Okay, and this is power and achievement uh, through your own hard work through, you know, putting in the time, through many, many hours. This is career advancement and career achievement. And because it's coming up in the position where it's right next to this Pisces dude, again, if you are a Pisces guy in some way, somehow, and you've got some Sagittarius, you may be, the universe may be taking this relationship out of your life because it's not, they, your partner may not be supporting of you in the advancement of your career. For whatever reason, they're dragging you down. They're dead weight. They're making you feel like shit, okay? And the universe is saying you need to go for it, you know? There is so much money, so much wealth, so much prosperity to be had through your career. Um, if you focus on your career, um, Sagittarius guys, uh, who may have some Pisces in you some way, somehow, um, this is where this is the money. You're so money baby, okay? 
go get them. This is, this is the time, okay? This is October here. This is when you focus on career, okay? Um, and the nine, of, the nine of Pentacles is becoming empowered, becoming very well-known, uh, becoming the star, doing something either with music, with beauty, with, um, it could be fashion, it could be music, movies. Um, this is becoming famous. This is becoming well-known. So um, you may also know someone who's very well-known. You know, this may be the outcome is, you know, for you guys, this may be, you know, your soon-to-be ex-wife, and this is your soon-to-be new girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Because they, to me, they're different. They're different people. Uh, we've got the swords and the page of swords, and then we've got the nine of pentacles. The pentacles person may be um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo female, um, but it really could be anybody. But she is very grounded. I just noticed something. <laughs> that is so funny. I just noticed that she is actually sitting cross-legged. She's sitting, you know, with her legs crossed. Not like, not like, like that, but she's like in the like meditation position uh, when she's sitting at the piano. So she's very relaxed. She may be very casual. Um, it may not be someone who's like Oprah, okay? <laughs> But guys, you know, she may just be someone who, um, you know, she's in the public eye in some way, okay? Um, and she doesn't even know how much of a star she is. She doesn't know. Um, or how much she, where, you know, what she's going to become. She's just sitting there kind of casually playing the piano and she doesn't realize that her music and what she does is so beautiful. Um, maybe what she does for a living is something very healing, you know? Um, maybe you Sagittarius females do something very healing, you know? Again, this may have, there's a strong music vibe, but it may not just be music. It may be art. It may be fashion. It may be, um, you know, having your own YouTube channel or something like that. Um, this is just someone who's who's coming into their own power and who in a way already has, okay? Um, you know, I got this card. I always tell people I got this card just before my YouTube channel like blew up. <laughs> you know, just before I kept getting like this crazy influx of emails and I, was, I didn't even know really what was going on, you know? Um, so it may it may be someone that's like that. And so Sagittarius ladies, you know, this is this this is a time where you need to focus on your career. Um, and this is career advancement to the best, to the highest point. Okay. Um, Sagittarius guys, you may be getting out of a relationship. You know, Sagittarius girls, you may you may be getting out of a relationship as well. You know, there's there's a certain transition here that's happening. Excuse me. That's that's um. There's going from relationship focus to career focus, very strong career focus. Um, and for those of you who are, you know, looking for Mr. or Mrs. Right, and you're not going out at all, and you're very focused on your career, then chances are it's not going to happen where you meet Mr. Right. You know, you're going to be kind of still... And the Sagittarius does this, recycling old relationships, relationships that are not working, relationships that, um, you know, this is, the Sagittarius is the one that stays friends with all of their ex-boyfriends and then tries to sleep, and then the ex-boyfriends come back and sleep with them again, and it's just like a never-ending merry-go-round, um, where there's no resolution to, we're ending to the relationship that should have ended 10 years ago, you know, um, you know, Sagittarius get really lonely, really lonely. And, um, Sagittarius needs to have people around and needs to have romance. But if the universe is saying to you career, 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 well, to me, it says the universe is saying career, 
leave or separate from your partner and career, then two out of three are career. That's kind of how I see it. That's the message. So if like, so if you try to like go against that, it would be, you know, really not good karma. Really bad idea for you. Uh, if you try to go against that, you're going to feel stuck. You're going to feel like this is the karma card. And some of you have negative karma in relationships. Um, some of you, there is, you know, there are people that have this. And sometimes, um, and not everybody, there are people that have this in their chart where it's, it's harder than others. They have it harder than others. So you may have it a little bit harder than others to get into a romantic relationship, maybe because universe and your soul decided beforehand that you wanted to really focus on, you know, maybe raising the energy of the planet or you wanted to focus on doing something, you know, you know, in the world for yourself, you know, focus on career for yourself. Um, I feel like ultimately you're going to make a lot of money. Um, one way or other, there is like major financial cards here in this spread. So money, you're good. And some of you are like, are like, but I want a romance. I want to have sex. I want a partner. Okay. Um, I want to say it could be some time before that happens. Um, because that's not the focus of, and that, that may not be your focus. Again, you may be a career oriented person going to work day in, day out. And when it comes to romance, you're not making any effort to go out there. And I don't advise online dating. Okay. For you, you need to be out in person. So if you make zero effort, you're going to get zero results, but your pocketbook's going to look good. <laughs> for those of you who have been really waiting for a good financial month, this is a really great financial month because you have the Ten of Pentacles in the, in the recent past, which is a great card to have in the spread. And then you have <clears throat> the Nine of Cups in the immediate future, which is great financial prosperity and wealth. Um, and then you have the nine of, oh, sorry. Then you have the page of swords, which is being lifted out of hardship, no longer being in hardship after a lot of struggle, many years of struggle. And, um, this is prosperity. And then the outcome is the nine of pentacles, which is the magic, music, beauty, um, fame, fortune, pentacles, right? And then you get the ace of pentacles too. Um, when I pulled additional cards to see, you know, what would happen if you switched your focus? I don't feel like you're really focused on much other than money right now, to be honest with you. Um, that is the focus. Um, because that's the focus. You're going to have, you don't even know what to do with all the money you have, Sagittarius. You're going to just be overwhelmed by it, actually, I think. Um, you may feel lonely, but... I feel like the cards in the future, especially at the end of October, they're so positive that even if emotionally you're lonely, it's only going to be for a short while. It's not going to be like ongoing, you're lonely, you're depressed, you know what I mean? Slit your throat love songs at night kind of thing. It's not that, you know, I don't see that. I think you're going to be lifted up because um, the two wants, either it's a new job, it's a promotion, it's a raise, it's... Um, feeling really good and getting lifted up out of that, the doldrums, um, and coming into your power and coming into your own, doing your own thing. I think when you do that, um, that creates the good karma that creates the, that creates the positive, um, positive energy. I feel like some of you are very worried about going down the wrong path in career and you just need to make make a choice, and it's hard for you to choose. I would strongly advise not um, hiding at all in, in your house. Um, uh, some of you do suffer from depression, and I definitely would recommend talking to someone about that. Um, 
and avoiding anybody who comes across your path who is involved with drugs or alcohol, who has some kind of addiction problem. Um, I forgot which other one of the signs had that issue. I think Libra, you may be in a relationship with a Libra, Sagittarius. Um, message me if you are. Um, anybody that drags you down in October, um, I feel like you need to weed them out. You need to absolutely get them out of your hair. Um, old relationships need to go. Don't bring anybody back because it's only going to make things really hard for you. And it's just going to be like a dark cloud where you don't need it. Like you're just going to be like, I want to say really, really bright, really prosperous, really, really, um, focused and don't let anybody take, distract you from that. Cause I feel like it's really, really strong cards. Um, a lot of water elements, a lot of pentacle elements, um, financial prosperity. So that's kind of what I see. I do want to say it would be a good time for investment. Just be very careful um, how much you put in, you know. Don't put anything that you couldn't afford to lose. That's what the saying is. Uh, so that's what I pass along to you. But um, generally speaking, it's a great month for finances. Um, bad month for relationships, unfortunately. But, you know, you get this. I feel like you don't really want to let, let a person go or there may be some kind of residual stickiness from this person that you've been dealing with. Could be an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-partner, whoever it is, ex-husband, um, that has this negative energy, this stickiness. Um, because really, it's just not gonna be very good for you if you keep this person around, okay? You know, because you got the Two of Swords, you got the Eight of Swords, and then you got the Moon. And to me, it's all the same type of, like, negative energy when really, see this? It's just negative. Um, when really, you've got, oh, and, and the star card was the first card that I had pulled. Um, it had fallen out when I originally laid out my deck, and I had to um, stop my computer. So the star card is like the major arcana star card okay so to me it represents healing um if you've been in any kind of major upset major disagreement with a partner um there's some kind of separation um there's been a divorce there's been something going on that's negative in relationships or breakup or something like that um you need to um know that you're going to get past this you're going to be able to move on from this you're going to heal from this this is a transition. You're going through a transition time. Um, you need to forgive yourself for anything that, you know, you feel like, you know, you're judging yourself too harshly on uh, because you got the judgment card, which is, you know, looking at a relationship or looking at the past with a critical eye, you know, um, but you need to look at it with a forgiving eye and a compassionate heart and have compassion and love for yourself, for the, for the old self that didn't know better, okay, or that didn't make the choice that you would have made that you would make today, you know, or that, that didn't see it the way you see it now. Um, forgiveness is huge. People don't forgive themselves, you know, let alone other people. Um, and this is the way to heal from this, this relationship. Um, now when the two star cards come together in any spread at all, this is where things get really awesome because all the lights are on. Okay. And um, the star here, and this can indicate Aquarius, Aquarius female, okay? See, it's typically Aquarius female. Um, is, is, is really a powerful card. And it just amplifies the, the, uh, what I call the other star card, which is the Nine of Pentacles. And they just amplify, they work together, okay? So, it's sort of just like this. If, if the sky at night only had one star, okay, it would be, well, it would be kind of boring. But anyways, one star isn't a lot of light, right? More brighter, 
brighter, brighter, brighter. And then all suddenly you've got the whole sky full of stars that's really, really bright, right? Uh, to me, any more than, you know, the one star card makes this reading very special. Because that means you've got the two there. That's multiple, right? Um, <clears throat> and so, in my mind... This is very, like, things that are going on right now, there's a lot of angelic, divine, um, divine lessons to be learned, but also divine guidance. Um, and when you're, you know, if you go out at night, you know, and you can see the skies, try to connect with the stars, because the stars are really looking out for you. Um, this is, again, deceased loved ones, angels supporting you. You also have the Page of Swords, which is being lifted up out of hardship. Um, this is divine intervention. This is, you know, this, this, this energy, this energy can go on for some time. And sometimes the universe sends in the angels and says, you know what, this has been going on for some time. Let's bring this to an end. And it may be hard for you. It may be very sad for you. It may be very challenging for you. And you may feel like, fuck, God, why did this happen? This totally sucks. This blows hairy monkey balls. You know, something like that. <laughs> really bad. But ultimately, you'll come out on top. You're going to come out on top. You're going to be fine. Um, refocus your energy um, on on yourself and, and healing yourself and healing your emotions and try to plan... Um, you know, for the future and plan, make some goals for yourself, but plan to really focus on your career. So, uh, that's what I see. And, um, I know this is a little bit longer video, but, um, if you wish to have a private reading, feel free to email me and, um, I'm going to send you big hugs like I usually do. Big hugs, big hugs, big kisses. And I will be back again soon. Thank you guys so much. Take care.